Hi, I am Natasha Umar with news beats from the region on North Central Television. We begin with news from Abuja, the nation's capital, where President Muhammadu Buhari is billed to formally present the 2021 budget estimate at a joint session of both chambers of the National Assembly at 11 a.m. on Thursday. This announcement was conveyed in a letter he sent to the Senate and was read out by the Senate President, Ahmad Lawan, at the start of plenary on Tuesday. This comes about a week after the House of Representatives approved the Medium Term Expenditure Framework MTEF, the Fiscal Strategy Paper FSP, and put the total proposed 2021 expenditure at 13.08 trillion naira, while the, the Senate will provide a one-month window for budget defense by ministries, departments and agencies. According to the proposal contained in the 2021-2023 MTEF, FSP, sent to the Senate in July, the budget will be on a deficit of 5.16 trillion naira, and will be partly financed by a total loan package of 4.28 trillion naira. The Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, has directed a full investigation into the report of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission ICPC, on how 2.67 billion naira, released for school feeding of the 104 Unity Colleges during the COVID-19 lockdown, found its way into individual accounts. In a statement signed by the spokesperson of the Education Ministry, Ben Goong, said the investigation is compulsory in order to establish the veracity of the claims and to ensure that there is no diversion of public funds or misappropriation of same. In response to queries issued by the Federal Ministry of Education, the principals of the Unity Schools explained that payments on meal subsidies to Unity Colleges on the Government Integrated Financial Management Information System platform is designed to accommodate individual officers of those colleges who are officially recognized to receive such payments and disperse the same to food vendors. From Plateau State, the traditional ruler of Wiring Village, in Riam local government area of Plateau State, and five other members of the community, were killed in a fresh attack by unidentified hoodlums, barely two weeks after the district head of foreign, in Barkan Ladi local government area, and some other persons, in V Wong district, Jos South LGA, were killed in like manners. In the latest attack launched on Monday, the village head, a prince, and three members of the same family were among the victims. The State Commissioner of Police, Edward Egbika, has described the latest mayhem as an ugly incident, while the State Governor Simon Lalong has directed security agencies to do all that is necessary to apprehend the killers, and also halt pockets of isolated attacks on innocent people. Still on Plateau State, the state government is set to revive the state-owned newspaper, Nigeria Standard, to restore its past glory. The Commissioner for Information and Communication of the Medium, Dan Manjang, in an interview in Joss the Plateau State Capital, revealed a plan to have a Merit Award Night, where governors of the North Central Region will be invited to relaunch the publication. The Nigerian Standard was established in 1972 by the then venue Plateau Government, as one of the foremost newspapers in the Northern Region. From Benu State, the parish priest of St. Augustine Parish Dimekpe, in McCurdy, Benu State, Father Solomon Ukeima, has said that one of the armed robbers that invaded the parish house kept begging for forgiveness after picking each item in the house. The cleric revealed that the robbers were calm throughout the operation, and kept begging for forgiveness, each time they picked any article from the house, during their operation. The robbers had invaded the parish house around 2 a.m. on Monday, and after demanding and failing to get the sum of 5 million naira or some foreign currency from the priest, made away with proceeds of thanksgiving by four families, offertory, phones, selected footwears, sound system and some drinks, among others. And from Kogi State, the state governor, Yahya Bello, while commemorating the 2020 World Teachers' Day, has promised to improve the welfare of teachers in the state. The governor further stated that his administration is committed to raising the standard of educational infrastructures across the state, and praise teachers for the critical role they play in molding and building the society through teaching. According to him, teachers are the father of all other professionals, as no other professional could attain any height without first of all being taught by a teacher. That's the news beats from the region on North Central Television. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to our channel for up-to-date news and interesting programs. Thanks for watching. I am Natasha Umar.